Okay, design idea page, page six of your AQA coursework. So we need to do this after you've done all the research pages. So the first five research pages are vital for you to start this project. The reason it's important you do your research first is that you need to have a really good understanding of the topic that you're designing for. You need to have gone into some depth at looking at the client and the other topics, other products that have been produced on this topic already. That's going to give you a really good grounding to then come up with some brainstorm ideas for yourself. OK, so here's an example of an actual A-level sheet of product design, but it gives you a really good idea of the, the busyness that the page needs to have, how you need to come up with some creative ideas to put on your design ideas page. Now, I would say you probably need a minimum of four design ideas and probably a maximum of six to eight. OK, you don't need to put as many as there are on this sheet. But you do need to do more than just a couple. OK, remember, this is supposed to be a real brainstorm of the topic to begin with. So think carefully of what sort of things you can draw. Don't spend ages drawing them really neatly and adding colour and detail and texture. Draw them quite simply. I would give them quite a crisp black outline as well, as you can see on this sheet here, so that you're really indicating what this product is. Once you've drawn your design ideas, you can just add a bit of shadow onto there and then you can start to think about annotating this sheet. The clue in your assessment is that you explain your design ideas. So you don't have to be a Michelangelo. You don't have to be the best, greatest artist in the world. As long as your sketch communicates what your idea is, you can then annotate fully to get across your information. So by adding notes, and I would say a lot more notes than this page has got on it, you need to start to explain your ideas to the examiner. What is this little sketch? What is the idea? Where does it come from? What are you thinking? What materials are you thinking of using for it? How is it going to work? How is it going to suit your client? You've already researched your client. How is this client going to use this particular product you've come up with? How is it going to answer the brief? So if you've been asked to design something for safety in the home, how does this product do that? All of these are things that you can annotate your little sketch with to really communicate what it is. Beauty of this page is you can also think about the negative things about your products. So if you've drawn something and you've got a rough idea of how it's going to work, but you're not sure about it, you can still communicate that to the examiner. You could say, I thought about producing this product, but potentially there's going to be a problem producing it. Maybe it's getting hold of the materials or maybe it's too tricky to actually manufacture. You can put negative comments on your sheet, too. All of these sorts of things are a great way of communicating to the examiner what your thoughts are. OK, as I said before, busyness is important. Fill this page. Don't fill it with lots of other pictures. As an example, on the bottom of this page, there are photographs of products. I wouldn't bother with that. I would concentrate on your design ideas and your annotation. OK, you can use arrows as pointers, as I've said on the bottom right hand corner there. You could use arrows or pointers to indicate particular things so you can highlight certain points and talk about them. OK, try not to leave huge gaps on this sheet. Fill them in as best you can. So as before, we've got here two examples of uh, two design sheets. Again, these are just off the Internet. These are not the best examples I could find. but We are in lockdown. So example one, an average uh, example there of a, a level four to five has got a range of design ideas on there. Again, quite a lot of them, but it gives me an idea of the type of thing this person is trying to produce. Some very nice drawings there, but very little annotation. So there's no communication apart from the drawing to tell us what's going on. There's a title missing from this page. It should say design ideas very clearly somewhere on the page. The annotation would give this student a chance to really explore the good and bad points of these design ideas and think about what materials they're going to make them out of or how they're thinking about manufacturing them. There's no communication on this page to explain how this suits the target market. So it's always going to be limited to the amount of marks that this page can get. The example on the right is much, much better. So as well as having 
greater detail on the drawings there. So there's a little bit more communicating perhaps what material they're made out of or how they work. They've also thought about scale. So in their drawings, there's a, a drawing of hands or other things like bulbs. So we get an idea of how big these products are supposed to be. He's also drawn a couple of little sketches that show inside of things or how buttons particularly work or how screws are going to fit onto things. So there's some further sketches that show more detail of how, the, how these designs are going to work. Again, to get full marks on here, there should be lots more annotations. So there's not enough writing. So we could perhaps have done with less drawing and more writing on this page to get a higher mark. Again, there's no title on this sheet, but you must bear in mind that both of these are off the internet and they're just, I think they're A-level examples of sheets rather than GCSE, okay? So give us a range of design ideas, minimum of four, maximum of about eight on your sheet. Don't draw too small. Don't draw too big that you can't get any writing on there. Make sure that you annotate fully. I would say annotate all the design ideas. Don't just annotate some of them, do all of them. Make sure you're trying to communicate your first impressions of these ideas, you know, what's good and bad about them, and potentially try and indicate which one is the most suitable for manufacture, which one you think you're going to do. Okay, good luck.